So, good afternoon at Apex. Now, I've just taken this in part exchange. I love these cars. This is a modern car legend, a future classic without question. Now, there aren't many like this. This has got the best colour, the best combination, the right options, and the last owner had it for seven years. Well, this Let is me show the you. one. Golf R32. A 3.2 litre V6 four-wheel drive. I bought the previous model, the Mark IV, myself, brand new. Love these cars. Now, this blue colour on them was special purely for the R32. It was a proper, properly lovely colour, isn't it? I mean, it's striking. And on the Mark V, we've got the aluminium front grille there that defines it as a bit, something that stands out a bit, then it's a bit different. These just look every inch special and they stand out and the class, aren't they? Look at that. We've got those lovely wheels. This is a rare and desirable three-door model and it is simply beautiful. Now, as I said, it's been maintained and owned by a chap who was a an enthusiast. He worked out of the country a lot of the time, so it's only seen limited use. And it's been maintained by one of the UK's main specialists for these cars, a performance VW man who's known for these vehicles. This car's got the desirable Miltec exhaust cap back system on it. And we've got a carbon fiber rear diffuser there as well. That's nice. Lovely. Coming down the driver's side. Just a bonny, bonny car. Can't begin to tell you how much I love these. Now this car's got the very rare and desirable Recaro full leather wing back seats. Not many of them, but buy one of these. You've got to get it with the seats. They're lovely. Wow. It's got heated seats for winter. And it's got the manual gearbox. There are some DSG ones out there, but it was the early evolution of the DSG box. The manuals seem to be a bit more desirable. And this car's recently had a replacement clutch and flywheel fitted too. We've got this lovely R flat bottom steering wheel. And inside, the condition of the car speaks the volume of how it's been owned. I mean, it's quite clearly been treasured and looked after. It's lovely in here. We've got the dual zone climate that I've got on fridge setting right now because it's a bit warm outside. But these, I can't, can't begin to tell you how good they were. When I bought mine, I think it was 28,000 quid in 2004. This is a huge saving. And I suspect the values of these are going to start to rise soon because they, they were the, well, this was the last V6 engine Golf. After this, they went on to the two litre turbo in the R. And they were the end of a generation, weren't they? From when you got big engines that made great noise. These still have one of the best sounding noise that you can get in a modern car. There's still something iconic. I mean, let's have a listen. Oh, it sort of tingles your spine that, doesn't it? And it means business. There's something about an R32. You've got four wheel drive for grip. It works in the bad weather. Yeah, it's a golf and it's practical and it's well made and I, I could go on. Now, I know you want this car nearly as much as I do. Give me a call. We'll have a chat. We'll figure something out. When it's gone, it's gone because I won't find another like this. There's plenty out there that are tired and have been messed about with, but there isn't many that are good, genuine examples like this. And these are the ones that in the future are going to be worth the big money. So give us a call and we'll have a chat and we'll see where we go. Bye bye.